In some cases, they say it takes a village, but what you'll find in this story is one man with a big heart and mountains of recycled electronics to change the lives of children in Jamaica. KXY4's Colleen O'Brien is live at Inland Retech in the Spokane Valley with a story. Colleen? And we're at Inland Retech tonight to tell this story because this is where the impact begins. At Inland Retech, they have piles and piles of computer trash, just like this, stuff we don't want anymore. But Brad Adams, who you're about to meet, he's a volunteer with the nonprofit Great Shape. He wants this tech trash. What he does is he builds computers from the ground up, sends them to schools in Jamaica to teach them how to read. To Brad, it doesn't matter that on this afternoon it's so cold at Inland Retech, you lose feeling in your fingers. It's hard to get in these boxes. No, that doesn't matter at all. Because this Riverside High School teacher is on a mission to rebuild your desktop debris. He knows the children of Jamaica need it. Reading's a problem, uh, literacy's a problem, and they're just... They just don't have access to computers and the outside world. And so through his volunteer work with the nonprofit Great Shape, Brad builds computers from the ground up. He and his band of tech treasure hunters gather piece by piece by piece until they have enough to build an entire computer. Brad loves the challenge. He says it's like putting together a puzzle. I'm making use of the things that would normally otherwise be uh, thrown out. Inland Retech owner Donna Burge knows him well. Brad is her best customer. He does a lot of the work himself, so that's pretty commendable. And uh, so any parts and pieces that we can give him to make that happen, we do that. It's a group effort driven by the positive impact he has seen firsthand when they deliver the thousands of pounds of computer parts to the labs in Jamaica, and the children light up. They're learning. And so all these little kids are sitting there, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's pretty gratifying to see them that they have access to something that they would never have been able to do before. He's a man on a mission to turn your trash into teaching tools in Jamaica. It's good for your soul to help people do stuff. And so we go out and we help people around the world, and uh, it's a good thing. I think everybody should help people. And if you're moved by this, there is an opportunity to help Brad and the rest of the volunteers with great shape. They're still looking for volunteers to go with them on their annual trip in November to Jamaica to deliver these computers. So if you're interested, we've set up a link to great shape on our website, KXLY.com. Just look under news links. In uh, Spokane Valley, Colleen O'Brien, KXLY4 HD News.